I just arrived last night to New York and I was flipping over the television and my hotel only puts news television. And it's all about how these radicalized Islamists worked in California and killed people. And I was thinking, why is everybody so upset about this accident or this crime? Don't they know that when the US occupation of Iraq happened, that the US administration seeked every uh, extremist in the country, empowered him and his group, armed him, put him in the parliament, and made them a, gov a government on top of all Iraqis? Don't they know that the US goes, the US government, and I, I need to clarify here, American people are lovely, but the government is not the same. The, the, the criminal, George Bush, is still out there. He started a war on Iraq, and he put every extremist in power. Every Islamist extremist was put in power, and they marginalized half the country, and they turned them into an opposition, put them in prisons, and tortured them for 10 years, until mm. people like Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi became a reality. They have been killing us, bombing us, and this is an act of division on the Iraqi people that was such a cruel political intervention. Just, we just do not de deserve this. Just explain for people a little bit more. <laughs> just elaborate a little bit more on what you just said and give us the picture of what an alternative might have been, an alternative approach. Iraq is known to be, in the, in the region, in the Middle East, it's known to be the country where you have the highest numbers rate of university graduates, where you have the biggest progressive leftist uh, political party organized and membership in the society. It's known to have all the political parties from nationalist to the center, to the left, everybody. But the, the American occupation and the administration did not want those. Mm. They only wanted the right wing, who are the Islamists and the tribals, to come to power. They empowered him. Who did Paul Bremer uh, visit the first time he decided to step out of the green zone? He, he visited the highest cleric of the Islamist Shias in Iraq. That was a message for everybody in Iraq that these are Islamist times. Whoever one of you doesn't like it, let him step out of Iraq. And women do not dream of anything in this period. We will discriminate against you by laws, by practices. We will even create an opposition that is totally criminal against women. So now between the, under the Iraqi government and under ISIS, women are being trafficked, they are being, they are second, not even secondary, 10th rate citizens, <clears throat> women under ISIS are being burnt alive on the streets, women under ISIS are being enslaved, and once their city gets liberated, their tribe comes back and they kill them under honor killing. So, this is so cruel. And when I think of the other minorities in Iraq, just like our black sisters in Iraq, we had to create a shelter specifically for our black sisters. And they are not given any opportunities of education, of work, no respect. This is the democracy that was created in Iraq. So once uh, such a bad place is created, how can anybody complain about it leaking into other parts of the world? Of course it does with the, the technology, with the high technology and travel and everything. This is such a, it's not such a cruel world, but US imperialism is such a cruel reality over the rest of the world. I would say, I would say not one more woman and not one more country. No country should go under what we witnessed in Iraq. No more wars. No more wars. No more wars. No more wars.